Can you work on some of this with the case in your hand? I'm a little worried about the case. Clock that case looks bag. good, Holly. Mia, I mean, you did it. You're <laughs> ah, 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 ah. I just corrected that. Aww, Stop. Mia. Stop. Mia is practicing her solo, and, and all of a sudden, I see out of the corner of my eye, she just stops and she freezes. And I'm like, oh no. What, 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 what's wrong? I forgot my number. I'm like, no. Maybe because the music's not on. <laughs> no, that is not true. Get that out of your head. You know the dance. You did the dance several times. Suck it up. Put your game face on. You know the dance. Good mom. Don't cuddle. Take a deep breath. Take a breath. When Miss Abby is rehearsing my solo in the dressing room, I got freaked out because I almost forgot a part. I really want to be in the group dance, but if I mess up my solo, I am not going to be in the group dance. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice Lancaster welcome for working girl, Nia. I know Nia just forgot the dance, and I'm a basket case. Move over, amateurs, taking mine, taking yours. Never let up till the death drop. My child got a standing ovation. That never happens at a dance competition. I am a proud mama. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in one of our toughest 9 to 11 categories we've seen in a long time, here's our top 10 power division. The last time Nia did Laquifa, the judges didn't care for it so much. But she's maturing, and that bundle of energy was there. Ninth place regional champion, and the fiercest attitude special award goes to Nia, number 109. Although this week was filled with anxiety and turmoil with the group dance, the solo performance for Nia was a high point of my Abby Lee dance experience. I'm so proud of my little girl. Does it feel better when you win? Or does it feel better when you lose? Yeah. When you win. So don't go out there and make any mistakes. You love the dance. It's cute. It looks great. If you don't win, we'll blame it on your mother's stirrup feet. <laughs> I'm really nervous about my solo because I might forget the moves. Abby would totally yell at me if I forgot this dance. 163. Entry 1, 6-3. For title one, this is McKenzie. Yeah. She was in pain. Maddie, tell her how good she did. Melissa, when you're finished with her, send her over. OK. OK, go ahead. Don't cry. OK, go ahead. Just go. 
Listen to me. I don't want to look at this sad, horrible kid all day. Yes? So put a smile on your face. So you're lucky. Accidents happen. Oh, well. Yes? Oh, I hate being the good guy. I'd rather just yell at you for running off. Let's hear it for the dance teachers. Top 10, eight and under solos. 10th place. 10th place goes to entry number 163, If the Shoe Fits. I think that she had a really good chance of winning this competition. However, she fell, so. I really don't think that people realize she didn't do her whole dance. Come on out, my favorite pop star. Channeling your inner Miley. It's Kendall versus JoJo, and whoever survives gets to go against someone else next week to see who gets to do a solo at Nationals. Personally, I love JoJo's song, and I love her dance. I think she definitely has a chance to do well this weekend. Go to the top and stay there. There's no stopping you. I got right. you. This isn't performance-based. This is about technique. So I want to see technique, OK? This week, Kendall has a really good package. Great choreography, great costuming, great music. I think Kendall has a really good chance of coming out on top. All right, girls, come on up here. I just want you to know that you're auditioning for nationals to see who does the solo. You gonna nail it? I better. <laughs> Made the best 11, 12-year-old win. Okay, judges, we'll be going to number 601. She can't stop. JoJo looks adorable. Her costume is perfect. She looks super cute in it. The wig is perfect. Like, this girl is on fire. JoJo just improved most of that dance. But who knows? Maybe these three judges will love it. She may still have a shot at winning this. However, I don't know how Abby's going to react. Good job. It's OK. 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 You were so good. It's OK. Babe, it happens. It happens, OK? The judges didn't notice. It happened. I forgot my solo. It's OK. No, she's not. Oh, so, I need to ask you in front of everyone, what happened? I didn't want to run off, because that'd be worse. So it would. like a natural your love. And it's but do you understand? Okay. We would have liked to show off our choreography. I don't want to, like, it was my favorite song, and I really wanted to do it good, but I just, I don't know what happened. Abby's not very nice to JoJo or I most of the time, so I'm shocked. Abby is treating her like a real member of the team. This is really tears. Da, da, cross. Don't drop off your right heel. That's not how you finish a turn. Please. Chloe has great lines. She's a great dancer, but she doesn't give me what I want. She wants to be a choreographer. She wants to make it up herself. Instead of, you know what, kid? There's lots of time for that. Do what I'm telling you to do. One, two, three, arc that way, Chloe. Dance, don't just be a stick figure. Chloe's just not focused today. She is stumbling over choreography that she should be picking up like it's second nature. Listen to me, go out, get a drink of water, clear your brain, 
I decided to give Chloe a little break so that she can gather her thoughts, review her choreography, and get her act together. In the meantime, I want Maddie to perform her new solo for my senior company. They need to realize that a little nine-year-old can learn a whole routine and execute it flawlessly in one day. Christy, she's running Maddie's solo again. I can't believe Abby interrupted Chloe's solo rehearsal just so Maddie could perform in front of the senior company. I mean, she's not even trying to hide her favoritism anymore. It's a slap in the face to everyone, especially Chloe. It's nice to put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah, OK. Watch the maturity in the level of dancing. Watch the ability to comprehend the movement. When I give you something that I envision, and you make it better than what I ever thought it could be, that's great. That's amazing. That's what they want to see. Abby is trying to turn our kids against your kid. No, and you let her do it. No, I don't. She's not. Some of you are almost twice her age. and she watches the dance, so she knows what people's strengths and weaknesses are, and she uses that as an advantage for your daughter. Yes. So remember, smooth transitions. Tell the story, happy, pretty. Maddie and Chloe are both doing three dances this week. They're both doing a solo, a trio, and a group number, and frankly, I don't know if Abby has spent enough time with Chloe so that she feels prepared, and I'm really worried. Listen to the music, Chloe, you're rushing. Chloe's in the dressing room going over her routine, and I'm watching her out of the corner of my eye. She keeps forgetting one part of the number, so I said, Chloe, stop. Let me fix that part, and let's do it over and over so you get it in your body. I saw Chloe starting to really doubt herself in Miami, and now I see it even more. I want her to stay that innocent person, and so I would rather be the bitch and protect her and fight for her and let her maintain that innocence. Remember, it's not about winning, okay? Mm -hmm. It is about you going out there and doing it to the best that you can do it, okay? Okay. All right. Chloe, listen to me. When judges go on a break, do not step out on that stage so every judge is seated and has attention on that stage. Because they could still be eating or getting their coffee or figure out where their papers are. Do you understand me? Yes. Love you. Please welcome to the stage Chloe from the Abby Lee Dance Company with the solo performance, Watercolors Fade. watching Chloe on stage. She's performing. She looks beautiful. Everything's great. And then here I go. I'm watching her. And here's the part that she kept forgetting in the dressing room. Boom. Forgets another part. I mean, come on, kid. What are you doing? This is one of the reasons I hate to watch my kids dance. I mean, I'd rather stand out in the hallway and pace. I mean, come on, Chloe. We worked for this. You've earned it. You're getting to do a solo, and you just blow it? Everybody blinks, but you stay on stage, you keep dancing, you figure it out, and you get back on the music. 
When Abby's talking to Chloe after she forgot part of her solo, all I'm thinking to myself is, you know, maybe if you gave her the same amount of attention as you do to everyone else, she wouldn't forget.